Hi there. In this video, we're going to be talking about the robot design judging for the 2014-2015 FLL World Class season. Every year, the robots and the team's design have to complete a number of themed tasks within a two and a half minute round. They earn points for every mission that they complete. In robot design judging, teams have the opportunity to discuss their strategies and demonstrate their robot construction and programming. Here's an overview of the field. Compared to previous years, the field has significantly fewer obstacles, allowing for more maneuvering on the field. There are also fewer guidelines on the field, so it will be interesting to see how teams figure out how to tell where their robot where to go. We'll talk about the missions on the field starting from the ones closest to the base, where robots must always start from, and move to the far end of the field. I'll also make note of a few missions that you don't have to worry about during judging. The first mission is opening doors. To complete this mission, teams will need to push the lever down and open the door. The second mission is changing conditions. This mission only requires the team to rotate the arm 90 degrees counterclockwise to earn points. This mission is called Search Engine. This is a particularly challenging mission. In it, teams must push the lever to activate the color spinner. If a single square is in the window, the team must pull that colored ring from the three rings below. If two squares are in the window, then the color that is not in the window is the ring that needs to be pulled. This mission is titled Project Based Learning. In this mission, the rings that the teams have collected from various missions on the board are hung on the model slowly to raise the globe, with more points for each ring that has been added. This next mission is fairly self-explanatory. It's soccer. In this mission, teams must transport a ball from the base to the goal. Taking a shot earns points, and additional points are earned for the ball being scored in the goal. This mission is called Engagement, and it's a particularly complex model. To move the yellow section downward, the pinwheel needs to be rotated clockwise. However, a robot can only rotate the wheel 180 degrees at any given time. This makes the mission very time consuming. However, teams may choose to accomplish this mission because it adds a percentage bonus to their overall score as opposed to giving them raw points. This mission is called Cloud Access. In order to activate the mechanism that lifts the SD card, teams will need to create a key that fits into the cloud. In this mission, titled Robotics, a supplied key must be carried from the base to this model, and the key must be inserted into the robotic arm to release the loop. This mission is called Using the Right Senses. It contains another loop to collect. To release the loop, the robot must simply push the slider forward. This mission is called Remote Communication. This is the one model that straddles the border between two fields. Although both teams would need to complete the mission in order to activate the screen, if one team does their part, they will still receive points for the mission, regardless of whether or not the other team attempts the mission. Thinking out of the box is simple on the surface. Teams need to simply get the light bulb tile out of the box. However, this tile cannot be touching the box, and the light bulb should be facing up for maximum points. They cannot bring the box back into base to attempt the mission by hand. The next mission is Community Learning. In this mission, teams need to simply remove the ring from the model to earn points. There are a few missions that are not as relevant to robot design judging, but I'll briefly mention them in case teams talk about them. The first is Apprenticeship, where teams will have to design a model to carry the two minifigures and place that model over by the project-based learning globe model. In the second mission, Reverse Engineering, teams will build a small model and put it in the basket of the team competing on the other table. The basket must be retrieved by the robot and the students then must build an exact replica of the model that they find inside. Lastly, these black cones are touch penalties, which are taken away uh, by the referee for each penalty that teams incur. At the end of the match, the number of cones remaining will earn points for the team. Unlike in other regions, we do not use the Robot Design Executive Summary. This is a template for presentation and engineering notebook that some regions use in judging. Instead, our region focuses on question and answer, as well as a demonstration of the robot's capabilities. Even though the rubric does allow for a not demonstrated score, we want to give all the teams the opportunity to try and answer each section. 
after the teams have left, complete the rubric by rating each team from beginning to exemplary. Be sure to provide constructive criticism or compliments for the team. Remember that the rubrics are returned to teams at the end of the competition, and so they'll use your feedback to improve for future events. Well, that's it for notes from me. Before the tournament, be sure to read over the official FLL World Class Challenge. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Also, be sure and go over the Robot Design Judging Prep Pack, which has an overview of your day at the competition, sample questions you can use, and a copy of the Robot Design Rubric. Thanks so much for volunteering, and we'll see you at the competition!